Church Access Maglot Key. Don't forget to always isolate your connections with electric tape or wire nuts. First, cut off the end of the power supply wire. On the transformer, identify the positive and the negative wires. Note the positive side has white dashes along the wire and the negative side is solid black. On the receiver cable harness, identify the positive, which is the red wire, the negative, which is the black wire, the common, which is the yellow wire, and the normally closed, which is your blue wire. Connect the positive from the receiver, which is your red wire, to the positive from the transformer. Connect the negative from the receiver, which is your black wire, to the negative from the transformer. Connect the common from the receiver, which is your yellow wire, to the negative from the power supply. You should now have the normally closed or blue wire free for the next step. Now you can connect the harness to your wireless receiver. Now you must match the sequence of the dip switches on your receiver to the transmitters so they can communicate. On the motion sensor cable harness, you need to identify the positive, which is the red wire, the negative, which is the black wire, the normally closed, which is the blue wire, and the common, which is the yellow wire. Connect the positive from the motion sensor, which is your red wire, to the positive of the power supply. Connect the negative from the motion sensor, which is your black wire, to the negative of the power supply. Connect the normally closed from the motion sensor, which is your blue wire, to the normally closed from the receiver, which is also your blue wire. Now you should have the common or the yellow wire free for the next step. Connect the cable harness to the motion sensor. On the push button, you'll now need to identify the normally closed connector marked NC and the common connector marked with a C. Connect the common from the motion sensor, the yellow wire, to the normally closed NC connector on the push button. Connect an extra piece of wire to the common connector marked C on the push button. Now connect the piece of wire to the negative terminal of the magnetic lock. Connect another piece of wire to the positive terminal of the magnetic lock.
connect the wire from the common terminal on the push button to the negative wire coming from the magnetic lock. And now connect the wire coming from the positive terminal of the magnetic lock to the positive wire of the power supply. You should now have a fully operational kit. Plug the power supply in and test your circuits. Thanks for watching and until the next time.